Breast carcinoma may be subdivided into in situ and invasive carcinoma. Up to 30% of breast cancers are in situ. Approximately 80% are ductal and 20% lobular. Ductal carcinoma in situ tends to occur between the ages of 40 and 60. The size varies from approximately 2 to 100 millimetres. 90% of cases of DCIS are detected on the mammogram because of the microcalcifications. 5% present as a palpable lump. Another way they can present is as a nipple discharge or Paget's disease where the tumour cells spread through the skin of the nipple. Untreated it is thought that at least 40% of cases of DCIS will become invasive breast cancers. This is the histological appearance of DCIS. Necrotic tumour cells form the debris at the centre of the duct. When the breast tissue is sliced, the necrotic debris extrudes from the duct rather like a comedone, hence the term comedone necrosis. This is another example of ductal carcinoma in situ. The magenta area on the bottom right of the picture is an area of microcalcification. Areas of microcalcification like this can be seen on the mammogram during breast screening. The eczematous appearance of the nipple and surrounding skin is caused by Paget's disease. Histologically we can see the tumour cells spreading along the epidermis. This produces the gross appearance of the rather flaky erythematous skin in Paget's disease. This type of spread is known as Pagetoid spread and it also occurs in other sites such as the vulva. LCIS tends to occur in premenopausal women with no palpable breast lump. The lesions are multifocal and often bilateral, and at least 20% of patients with LCIS will develop an invasive breast cancer after 20 years in either breast. This is the typical histological appearance of lobular carcinoma in situ. You can see the carcinoma cells distending the asini of the breast lobule.